Hi, my name is Dave Gibson. I've been a songwriter here in Nashville for about 28 years. Moved here in 1982, and I've had a six number one songs, and I have been an artist. Uh, had a band called the Gibson Miller Band. In 1993, we won the Academy of Country Music Award for Best New Group. My partner, Blue Miller, and I wrote our hits, High Rolling, Texas Tattoo, and Stone Cold Country. When I came to Nashville in 1982, I was very fortunate to meet a guy named Tony Brown. He helped my career a bunch. I had a couple of big songs with Steve Warner, uh, Midnight Fire, and Heart Trouble. My first number one song was with a gal named Tanya Tucker. You folks ought to know her. Uh, it was a song called If It Don't Come Easy. And I went on to have big hits with Alabama, a song called Jukebox In My Mind, and a group called Confederate Railroad. Daddy Never Was the Cadillac Kind and Queen of Memphis. Joe Diffie did my song Ships That Don't Come In. For ships that don't come in. And Montgomery Gentry, a song called Lonely and Gone, the house on the corner of Lonely and Gone on the Tattoos and Scars album. And I saw stars dancing on the water. I heard Elvis singing blue sweet shoes. Once a plane burning bright, there's a running from the light of a midnight fire. Those who stand on empty shores and spin against the wind And those who wait forever for ships that don't come in The ones who wait forever for ships that don't come in Start your preaching. Let me ask you this, my friend. Have you forgotten how it felt that day to see your homeland under fire and her people blown away? Have you forgotten? Willie heard it and uh, he called me and he said, Hey, man, uh, first off, he called me. I was going over to Barry Hill to, to get a microphone. For a session I was doing, and my phone rung, and I'm looking for this building. I picked up the phone, and I said, hello, and he goes, is this Wynn? And I said, yeah. He said, this is Willie. And I said, Willie who? And I'm looking for this building, you know, and he said, Willie Nelson. And I said, bullshit, who is this? <laughs> Brad Paisley recorded this song and got Andy Griffin to be in the video, and it made my whole life. Bye. Sitting on a bench at West Town Mall. He sat down in his overalls and asked me, you waiting on a woman? He said, Daddies don't just love their children every now and then. It's a love without end, amen. It's a love without end, amen. Anyway, this song got recorded. Uh, I didn't know what that meant at the time. Uh, when the when the check came from BMI, I got it out of the mailbox. I didn't know it was a check. I thought it was a bill. <laughs> but uh, I looked at it. It was a pretty nice check. And uh, uh, to the point that I was pretty sure I had to send it back, that there had been an error made. But I didn't want my mom to see my name on a check with those kind of numbers on it. She deserved it. I mean... Jumped in the Suburban, drove over to Mom, showed her the check. She was all excited. She hands it to my stepdad. He looks at it and goes, Aaron, I get these all the time, and you never really win. <laughs> There's more than just ice cream in a carton oh, of bluebell. Yeah. Picnics and birthdays and welcome home signs. 
One taste and you can't help but wonder how Bluebell gets so many good things in a carton that size. <laughs> See you in the funny place. See y'all. Y'all come back now here.